uh, the beloved Moses from Hawaii. Please come and introduce your father. Please. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you, all the uh, Rotarians here. Um, I just want to say, Paul, especially since it's almost Easter and Pesach, having someone named Moses, I guess, is apropos to uh, say good morning to everybody. Um, Ellen, thank you very much for inviting my family. Um, Marsha, thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to my father, Dr. Norian Pasquitz, better known as Doc. surfer and that's why I love them. <laughs> I want you to know why I came here. I came here to talk to you because I want to share with you the most important, the greatest secret, the greatest revelation in my life. And my son Joshua made a card for me to say, <laughs> this uh, secret has all of the characteristics of the tenets of Rotary. <clears throat> I'm going to need your help a little bit in uh, making this secret available to all of you and I want to share it with you because it has been the most important thing in my life. Now I don't want to get too dour, too serious here and take away the beautiful spirit that is in this group now. <clears throat> And what I have to say has a great deal to do with spirit. However, we're going to have to be just a little bit serious for a few things. First thing I think you should know a little bit about me. There are only four things in life that I know much about. One is surfing. Two, is medicine as a, as a physician. Three is Jewishness and the Holocaust. And four is being 91 years of age, of which there are only a million of us now in America. I think in order for you not to get shortchanged by what I have to say, because I'm not quite so sure I can tell you this secret in the way that it should be told. Uh, I would like to say, regarding surfing, maybe one thing that you could take away with you. There is a wisdom in the wave, high-born and beautiful, for those who would just paddle out. In medicine, I think you could take away this simple motto. Now remember, medicine is bigger than just taking pills and not being sick. That's what I want to tell you about. But in medicine, perhaps you can take away this thought. No sugar, low fat, and walk, walk, walk. Now, as far as Jewishness and the Holocaust is concerned, I don't really don't want to get anything too serious here, but I do want to tell you the one thing that my friend Ziggy Boym said 
when he committed suicide. Sigurdbaum committed suicide because he could not think of living when all of the rest of his pals had gotten exterminated. And he said, he said, by my death, I want to express my vigorous protest against the apathy with which the world regards and is resigned to the slaughter of the Jewish people. Again, I don't want to go too much into that, but... And as for 91, the thought I would like to leave with that one part is this. After 91 years, I have learned that the biggest word in the English language is enough. Enough. Enough is enough. Can't be too greedy in life or the winged angels of heaven are too jealous. Now, I would like to have a little experiment. I would like to have this table, let's say, or just maybe just a few of you, figure up one question, just one question for the four things I know that you would like to ask me. Uh, do you have any question for all the experience? Yeah. <clears throat> ah! Yeah. Don't Not ask yet. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk it over five minutes because I have something I want to say. <laughs> The secret I'm going to tell you, I've written a book about it. It took me 25 years of research, 15 years of writing. And you don't have to buy my book. You can get it at Orange County Public Libraries. And also, I think you can get it at Aloha uh, Doc. How do you say it, Mom? You said it. AlohaDoc.com. And then I have a few of them there if someone wants an autographed copy. And uh, now, have you figured the question? <laughs> Are you going to bamboozle everybody else? Yes. Yes. I, I'm the only one that said I have a question. I wondered, um, I always like to ply people with pastry products and desserts after dinner. Uh -huh. And uh, I always try to keep the product I'm making low in sugar, but how do you avoid sugar in this day and age? I mean, oh, oh, do you very mean simple. You just don't eat it. You just don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get down to business. Next question. <laughs> Now I'm going to get a little serious. The greatest secret that I learned in my life, in regard to those four things, remember, remember those four things? That's my life. That's the summation of everything I am and everything I've done, even to this very minute. The great secret in my life is health. Now, I know some of you are going to say, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I mean, health, what's so secret about that? I know about health. And you do. You do. You're right. You're right. What I'm going to tell you, you already know. <clears throat> Nay, be assured, no secret can be told to one who divined it not before. And you have. You've divined it before. <laughs> However, there are some nuances, and it's those little details, well, they say God is in the details. Those little details are what make the difference between a revelation 
and the Word. Health. Now I'm talking to you as a doctor. Health is more than just not being sick. Health is more than just feeling okay. Health is a superior state of well-being, a vigor, a vitality, and you have to work for it every single day of your life. But when you get it, you know you've got it. Now, how many of you know about the health department or health care laws? <coughs> How can I get you to stop for a moment and think of this special secret that can enhance your body, extend your mind, even affect your soul, your spirit? How can I get you to take that one word and compress it or extend it to where it means what it really means after I have thought about it for 65 years. And that's what I want to share with you. I want to share with you that special revelation that came to me after all these years. I realized as a doctor, and not 5% of the doctors have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. Because we are trained not in health. I wasn't trained at Stanford University to talk to you like this. I was trained to give you uh, amoxicillin, or actually penicillin. As I discovered that day. But I wasn't trained to tell you about health. Health came from those four things that I told you about. Surfing, medicine, even my Jewishness, and certainly living. And what did it teach me? It taught me that if you want to have vigor, vitality, you want to get rid of the little miseries that bother you, like arthritis and aching pains, and the itchy behind, and God <laughs> Oh yes, and this wonderful one, heartburn. You can do it with health. If you bodily want to be able to prevent disease, you can do it with health. You can't do it with pills, you can't do it with vitamins, you can't do it with bottles of things. And you can't do it just because you have organic vegetables. If you want to extend your in innovativeness, your inventiveness of mind, if you want to extend your creativity, you can do it with health. Caffeine, booze, even uh, Yogurt is not going to give you that. So, what is it in life that you can do? You say you've come to share a secret with me. Okay, share it. Tell me how to do it. Stop all this palaver. Tell me how, where I can go buy it. You need to involve yourself in five activities of life. You have to take them very seriously. And thanks to my young son Joshua Ben, the secret <laughs> involves five things. Diet. Exercise. Rest. Recreation. 
and even attitudes of mind. Let me say to you, first the most important thing that is required in regard to this, these five things. You've got to do them all together. Nature does not fragment health. You can fragment disease and say, we're going to build a cardiovascular clinic. We're going to work on, uh, who was it? Was it you, Bill? Who was it? No, it was you, uh, Keith, I think. It was in, uh, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. All right. Yeah, you can fragment that. You can look for a genetic cause. You can look for a special medicine. But not with health. You cannot, you cannot take one of these things and throw it away. Or you can't concentrate entirely on eating broccoli and think that you've got a good diet. You can't go out and just run around the block or run your head off and say, I'm fit. It all fix. It all works. It's all part of it. But Exercise alone is not going to do it. Rest. The heart beats a billion times in a lifetime, maybe two billion in some lifetimes. But it rests in between each of those billion beats. And recreation. Recreation. What a wonderful word, recreation. Huh? We can go play and get help from recreation. But let me show you how important recreation is. Recreation, if you take and break off the reed, now there's a word for you. That's a lot different from playing basketball. And that that you do that recreates the spirit each day That is recreation, real recreation, that adds to health. And then attitudes of mind. You can say, good guys don't win ball games. Mr. President, you'll tell me when my time is up. You are very close, sir. You have a couple minutes. Okay. Then we'll get, take a few questions. Okay, so you don't win a ball game if you're, if, you're, if you're a nice guy. But the game of life, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's a wonderful attitude of life. And it really helps you with health. All together, diet, exercise, rest, recreation, attitude of mind. Now, I have only one more thing to say. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy my book. I swear to you by all that's holy that all you need to do is to want to be healthy. Now, this is Rotary. And I've come up and given you a sort of a philosophic <coughs> talk about my profession. But I made you a deal any of you who like to be rich and prosperous, any of you who want to be CEOs and want to have leadership as one of your main characteristics, you, you know, read my book, <laughs> read it twice, but you set out in a project for yourself to want to be healthy, and in 18 months your salary will increase by 20%. <coughs> 25%. So we're not just talking here about pie in the sky. We're talking about those things that really matter in life. Feeling good. Sexuality. Creativity. Innovativeness. Prosperity. And most of all, long life. Because at 91, I want to tell you, it's a great journey. A great journey. Just one simple little thing that I want to share with you. I used to live in the desert where the prophets lived, where Jesus walked. 
out in the desert of Sinai. And I lived there on the sand. And I had a terrible situation happen to me. And after one golden year of doing all these things, I became healthy. I really, for one golden year, was superiorly healthy, superior well-being. And I used to have these panic spells at night from something that I had. And one night, when I had really said to myself, I, God, I've got it. I looked up at the stars. I was in the middle of the desert next to the Red Sea. And the stars were so bright, it was as if they were all lit up special. And it suddenly occurred to me, compared to everything, I'm nothing. But compared to nothing, I'm everything. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, surfing and healing uh, from, uh, from Doc here. And, and as I mentioned to him earlier, there's a lot of video on YouTube about this man from a variety of sources. He's been around here for uh, just a few years, right, Doc? Are you still getting out in the waves? Yes, yes, yes. And when was the last time you went surfing? Six months ago in the Mediterranean. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. I broke my neck. Oh, no. <laughs> Must have been some big waves. If, if I could just have you come up here real quick one more time, and we're just going to take a quick photo. Um, we, we normally give a rotary wheel of chocolate. But I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant. Now, here, because I don't know. If you or some of your family, maybe your wife, is responsible for talking to Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But we, but we don't have, you know, it's your call. Mommy. Yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. You want your sons up here too? No, no, no. No? Okay. It's what we do. It's kind of our gift to all of our guests. So maybe you could take this to Hawaii. Would you take this to Hawaii, Moses? Awesome. Here, let me, you want to see it in front? Yeah, let's get in front. Okay. In front of get up here real quick, real quick. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's just a podium shot. Oh, that's true. Get, get, yeah. get close, get close like together, Sarah. Josh, get up here. Okay. Uh, one. Are you giving that to him now? Yes. <laughs> one more. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Actually, Moses is going to yeah. present it to you. Thank you. There you go. There you Thank go. you very much. Thank you very much, Doc. Really appreciate you coming to speak today and sharing your wisdom. And uh, we wish you wellness and health. And all sorts of good things. Thank you very much. All right.